two games, you're in. The problem is winning here is incredibly difficult. I think if they lose here, then they have to win two in the Big Ten tournament. Anyway, just keep this <laughs> weight. Yeah. I mean, we say parody, and the thing is, you see great execution. Irving. <laughs> Kyle Kirk, Kirk Street, Ohio State Buckeye. We often talk about this place. Oh, for their last 10, the Illini from the floor. But even some of those lower post ups. Okay. Costello back to Tum Tum. Valentine spots up for the open. Oh, yeah. That's got to be pretty intimidating, right? Randy Johnson is on the basketball court. You're looking at him. Pain. Don't you think Ohio State needs early success and some belief tonight? No doubt. No question about it, Mike. Well, Loving almost picked up his second foul there. Now, if I'm on, if I'm on, this call is practice would be a little more difficult tomorrow because of this. But you, you've got to understand that, that Michigan State's playing very good defense. Alvin Ellis finds Heitzel, who can really play <laughs> Heitzel Hayes of Wisconsin. But they don't want this year to be a complete lost cause. They don't want to go winless, that's for sure. Harris, <laughs> a second thought. Now you're looking at a guy who is now out of whatever slump he was in. And he's got he's got a great look on his face, too. Had a wry little smile after knocking that down. Forbes gets a little bit of space, and he answers. You'll see Valentine handle the ball a lot for Michigan State. Tom Tom Nairn is out for his third consecutive game, a case of plantar fasciitis, the inflammation in the heel in his left foot. Nice uh, step in there by Aaron. A team like Michigan State get a lot of offensive rebounds because they run incredibly well on it. Plus 17, and then some other year rebounding margin. Late in the shot clock, Harris. McBade open three. Oh, 